Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am back. I am here to do a um, some show and tell of uh, some distant. I went to see the Distant Worlds Final Fantasy concert um, that this past Tuesday night, and uh, I bought a few little things, and I wanted to show off, give you a little show and tell of what all I bought. Tell you a little bit about the concert. The concert was amazing. Um, if you ever get a chance to go to see Distant Worlds Final Fantasy, I would definitely recommend it. It's definitely worth it. You can take photos, but you know you can't do any video. They do not allow video at all. Um, so just be careful if you do photos because they might think you're trying to do a video. But um, just enjoy it. It's worth it. I went in cosplay. There was other people dressed in cosplay, which was cool. Awesome to see other people dressed in cosplay because it's Final Fantasy. You know, it's like, why not cosplay? Um... So yeah, I went dressed in Noctis. I had a friend that went with as Ignis, and then we met up with some other friends of mine, and they were dressed in Prompto and Arden, and we um, we didn't get a chance. To, we weren't sitting together, unfortunately, because they were sitting in a totally different area than we were, but we still got to see them, which was kind of cool and awesome and fun. Um, so yeah, so if you ever get a chance to go see Distant Worlds Final Fantasy, I would definitely recommend going. Tickets are not as expensive as you may think. Uh... I think the highest ranked ticket, I think the most expensive ticket was like a hundred bucks. Um, so, uh, I think I could be wrong, but I believe that was right. Uh, I paid $70 for my ticket. Uh, so, and we had really good seats. So anyway, so yeah, guys, I wanted to show you a little show and tell. This one, this is a few little items I bought. Um, first things first, I bought a couple of CDs. Um, I already had the, they have four Distant World CDs. I already have the first two, so I needed the three and four ones. So I bought the third one. Here it is right here, Distant Worlds 3. And I'll show you on the back the song list. And it has all the songs that are on the CD along with what series or what Final Fantasy game they are all from. Now, each Distant Worlds concert might be different than what I saw. I don't know if they play the same stuff at every concert. Um... So they might change up this playlist at, at, at the show that you go to. So you might not see, you might not hear, you might like to hear some of the songs that you want to hear and all that, all that. So that's why I bought the CDs so I can have all the songs. So here's the fourth one. This is the last one they did. And uh, on the back, it's got more songs. There you go. It's got some Final Fantasy 15 on there. It's got some 14 on there, looks like. Um... Some eight. They did. I can tell you what they did play at the concert. They played um, the Oath from Final Fantasy VIII. They played uh, Somnus from fifteen. Um, Cosmo Canyon from Final Fantasy seven. Um, believe they played Torn from the Heavens from fourteen. Uh, they we, they did One Wing Angel. That was the last song they did. Um, they did a Final Fantasy 3 song, they did the opening song to Final Fantasy 5, the main theme from Final Fantasy 5, they did Battle of the Bridge, the Battle of the Big Bridge, um, I mean, it's hard, I can't remember all the songs, those are just some off the top of my head, uh, they did Tizanarkin, uh, from Final Fantasy 10, they did the Chocobo medley song, they did that, um, they did a character theme medley from, I think, I don't know what, which ones they were from, but I know they did those two. Uh, they did Not Alone from Final Fantasy IX. Um, I think they did Kiss Me Goodbye from Final Fantasy XII. I'm not for sure, but I believe that was one of them on, as well. Um, and they did another one from IX. Roses of May. Roses of May is what they did from Final Fantasy IX as well. Those were just a few of the songs. And actually, most, and most of the songs they did at the concert that I went to are on these two CDs right here. So... I just had to look on the CD to remember them because I can't remember it at all because they played it. They went and like, they did a, they didn't give you like a playlist. So when you go to this concert, they don't get a playlist. They give you, you know, you can buy a program, but the program does not have the playlist. It just has the program. And I'm fixing to show you the program. If I pull it out of the bag, <laughs> this is the program. Distant world final uh, music from final fantasy. And I'm going to show you guys the book itself because it's really cool. And it's really awesome. And um, here you guys go. Nobu Umatsu, the composer. Arnie Roth, who is the uh, conductor. He was the actual conductor at the concert I went to. Which, at the concert, she's not. It was pretty awesome. 
And these are some more of the composers of some of the songs from that they played. Here's a whole bunch of them. I don't know if you can get all that in there. There you guys go. And then here's more of the Arnie Roth and the uh, uh, Nobumatsu there. It's a book. It's all about stuff. Here's some of the stuff they do play. This is this Distant Worlds songs from Final Fantasy. And it also says, program may be subject to change without notice. So there are some songs they could not do because some of the songs require a chorus. And if they don't have a, if they don't have a chorus, they can't play certain songs like um, the Ap Apocalypse Noctis song. Uh, we did One Wing Angel, and he had us do the Sephiroth part of the song, which was kind of awesome. So, yeah. And then it has all the Final Fantasy stuff in it. There's some artwork from Final... There's the dialogue. Then here's some of the artwork from Final Fantasy 1. And it goes on and on. It's just it's just an art book, but all, it has all the Final Fantasies in it. It's a pretty cool book. Final Fantasy 3. And this goes, you know, there's Final Fantasy 4. Final Fantasy 5. Final Fantasy uh, 6, which was apparently a lot of favorite people. Apparently that's a lot of people's favorite, favorite Final Fantasy game is 6. Um... Then of course you got the most the game that everybody keeps talking about is Final Fantasy VII, which when they did Final Fantasy VII, they did one of the first songs they did was one of the Final Fantasy songs, and they actually showed clips or the trailer for the Final Fantasy remake. And I'm just like, quit teasing me with this stuff. Just give me the game. And even the conductor was like, now if Square would hurry up and get the game out, that would be nice. I thought that was pretty funny. Even the conductor was like, now Square just needs to get the game out. So here's Final Fantasy VIII. There you guys go. Squall, Renoa, Cypher, all that good stuff. There's a little book about tells about each tells about each game. I'll just show you the whole book. It's a short book anyway. There's Final Fantasy IX. And then here's Final Fantasy X, which is another one of a lot of people's favorites. There's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, 11. They did a song from 11, but I don't know what it was off the top of my head. Um, then here's 12. There's some artwork from 12. And then 13. Lightning and Fang and Snow and Sarah and all those awesome characters. And then, of course, Final Fantasy XIV, the game that a lot of people are actually still playing, still going. There you guys go. Fourteen, Awesome. And then last but not least, the game that I'm still playing, Final Fantasy XV. The last time I saw Distant Worlds, XV wasn't even around. So that was a while back. So this is my second time seeing this concert. So... It's kind of glad I'm kind of glad they actually uh, you know now they have 15 in the book so it's kind of awesome but there's the book and now we got let's see last but certainly not least I bought a t-shirt because anytime I go to a concert I like to have a t-shirt of the show I've gone to so I can have you know as a souvenir so I bought a t-shirt I bought my brother a t-shirt as well so I have two t-shirts I'll just show you the one because they're both the same and this is what the t-shirt looks like very cool Distant Worlds from Music for Final Fantasy shirt. I didn't get a t-shirt from the first show I went to because they didn't have any t-shirts at the time. Um, and all that good stuff. And also, I'll show you guys the bag. Because I got the bag for free because I spent enough money. So I got this nice this nice little plastic bag. It says Distant Worlds Music for Final Fantasy. And on the back, it has... It says A New World Music from Final Fantasy. So, uh, this is like an intimate music from Final Fantasy. So that's the bag. That's all the goodies I bought from the Distant Worlds concert. Um, while we're on the subject of Final Fantasy, I actually bought, ordered something else from Japan that came in as well this week. And it's Final Fantasy related. And I thought I would show this to you as well. It's Final Fantasy 15. Um, 
I wanted to show this to you guys because it's Final Fantasy related. And it would go with this video. So, I will show you this to you guys before we before I close out this video. This is a really cool little, it's a small little wall scroll, but it's very nice. It even comes with a hanger to hang it up, which I haven't hung it up yet. But this is my Noctis Lucis Kylum mini wall scroll that I ordered from Japan. Um, so if any of you guys are interested in where I found this, comment below, message me, comment, and I will reply back with the link to where I found this. Um, I think it was like 20 bucks, uh, $20. So, U.S. dollars. So, there you go, guys. Pretty awesome wall scroll. And it's got to find a place to hang it. So, I um, wanted to show that to you because it's Final, Fan Final Fantasy related as well. But anyhow, guys, let me roll this up. All right. So, yeah, guys, that's all I have to show for you today in this wonderful video. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed it. If you did... Hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you've been to a Distant Worlds concert before. Let me know what you thought. Um, it's interesting to see if any, uh, uh, you know, if any other guy else has been to one of those concerts because they're a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, guys, that's all I have for you now today on this awesome video. So um, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Um, I will be back streaming on hope on Monday. Hopefully on Monday night we'll be doing Final Fantasy 15. Uh, New Game Plus, so if anybody's interested, come and come and join me. Uh, it starts at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, I think my streaming schedule is listed in the description below this in the description below. So just check that out as well. And um, that's it for now, guys. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.